testing cannot be reduced or second guessed due to the representation of our interests and fic uh, fictional interpretation of these powers. The rules of this house were not drafted to circumvent the supreme law of the country, nor can they prevail above the constitution. In conducting our work, we must be guided by these uh, provisions and not common sense as said by Honorable Tapi uh, last week. In saying this, Honorable Speaker, the Portfolio Committee met and considered the, and deliberated on the APP and the budget um, um, documents of the Department of COCTA and came to the following recommendation, that the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs must develop a turnaround plan and put mechanisms in place to ensure strict compliance with legislation governing local sphere. This must find expression in their APP and be enforceable that the department provide a comprehensive report on compliance and appointment of senior managers and secondment made recently in municipalities. Appraise the portfolio committee with a register with timeframes on mitigating strategies of uh, UIFs and W at various municipalities to enable the portfolio to committee to uh, have informed oversight and monitoring. That the department submit a comprehensive report on progress made in implementation of SPLUMA M score and compliance with CREB. Uh, provide the portfolio committee with a detailed organizational structure of the disaster management center. That the department submit a detailed report on the current status in terms of disbursement and spending patterns of grants per municipality, demonstrating which municipality forfeited reasons for forfeiture and turnaround plan to monitor utilization uh, of grants by municipality to which extent the MEC has already. Uh, um, made um, strides in this regard. Develop a framework and, uh, and model speaking to improve uh, functioning of what committees uh, in uh, our municipalities within the province, that the department submit a comprehensive report on support given to budget and treasury offices, human resource management and on records management uh, in our local municipalities, compensation of employees, which has been a, a dilemma, funds reserved for service delivery to improve audit outcomes because we believe that the problems in our municipalities uh, lies uh, within the um, budget and treasury offices which are not properly um, filled with uh, necessary skills and capacity. That the department put measures in place urgently to ensure that reports of the public protectors uh, court's judgment and forensic concluded uh, implementable and forced without fail and adhere to, failure to adhere to this, impl uh, to, uh, to implement court outcomes should be followed by withholding of equitable share by national treasury and provincial treasury. This include but not limited to uh, implementation of court judgment and SIU reports in all of our municipalities, contravention of MFMA structure, sex system sect, uh, in municipalities which to date has uh, not tabled in section 72, draft budget, uh, um, but continues to receive allocation despite chaotic status. That in the event it is proven that the secondment was in contravention or the appointment was in contravention, uh, the department of, of department old policy and legislation, such individuals should be immediately withdrawn and council should be forced to adhere to tabled recruitment processes instead of hijacking and manipulating existing uh, legislation. That the department cannot be reduced to be a spectator in non-compliance by Ngaka Mulema, district municipalities and Dr. Ruth Mompati, district municipalities on powers and function as legislators in terms of your division of revenue, mechanisms uh, to be put in place to ensure adherence uh, to these particular uh, processes uh, or piece of legislation without fail um, by the department. A comprehensive report in compliance uh, and expenditure sub of, uh, of support to local uh, municipalities within Ngaka Mulema and Dr. RSM uh, district municipalities in compliance with your division of revenue. And this, in this regard, we are very clear in terms of what the provisions of your section 29 of your division of revenue says in terms of conferment 
of support uh, or transference of equitable share by the district municipalities uh, to the uh, category B uh, municipalities. That uh, the department submit a comprehensive report on how will they assist municipalities with revenue enhancement, that the department submit a report on compliance with 30 days payments and how this translates to municipalities and are enforceable to cap these issues of um, um, contractors that or service providers that are not paid by municipalities and are forced now to litigate against municipalities and municipal properties are being um, auctioned as a result of this uh, lack of payment. That the department submit a report on support given to MPEX and capacitation thereof by municipalities because this is a very key area uh, in terms of the functioning of uh, uh, municipal public accounts uh, committees. That the department uh, submit status on initiation school in the province and state of committees governing the initiation school report must be covered by the budget for the unit and expenditure. That the department pass a traditional uh, initiation act in the province and provide for policy regulation framework and establish operating structures within one bodies uh, uh, in the department. Currently, we are operating uh, just on a scale of committees that are formulated by me uh, individual members who have interest in taking our kids to initiation schools, and this is a conflict of interest. And in this regard, the Mahosi Aruna are not even considered by those that are operating in those particular spheres. So it has become uh, some kind of a money making scheme. Uh, this cultural activity of um, our country. That the department submit a comprehensive report detailing support to its traditional authority, uh, payments of stipend to chiefs, uh, infrastructure and state of offices, tools of trade of traditional quotas, comprehensive reports on progress uh, on dispute resolution on various chieftaincies, expenditure on litigations and an on and around chieftaincy uh, disputes uh, report on CPA is established in each and every chieftaincy reasons, their roles in terms of uh, reference of these CPAs that are normally um, um, established within the, the uh, traditional jurisdictions. Um, and uh, honorable speaker, the committee, after having deliberated on the budget of the COCTA, um, unanimously agreed to adopt the budget of uh, 659,286,000, uh, Honorable Sonaki. Um, on human settlement, Honorable Speaker, the department um, is implored to enforce penalties and blacklist all contractors that were paid and failed to complete uh, their project. The MEC agreed, agrees with us in this particular regard because we are in this crisis because people had entered the space of construction and to had not committed or lived true to what they had said they would do in the first place. The department must put mechanisms and in place to, in order to cap the mushrooming informal settlement in mining towns and social labor plans must be re, uh, reorientated towards responding to, to the real needs of those that they mean to serve and there must be implementation of the proposed policy framework to local beneficiation. The department should submit an updated report on blocked projects in our four districts uh, with time frames uh, uh, and progress on uh, and blocking of those particular projects. I know that the MEC has already covered these particular processes um, and we want to track that particular uh, progress as to from 2019, the department officials would have committed in various uh, oversight of our processes that uh, such projects are going to be unblocked and to date would need a updated uh, progress report. That the department should submit a report on N14 uh, uh, development um, outlining the expenditure incurred since its inception. This development, we believe that uh, is long overdue and can add a positive spin-off in, uh, in the economy of uh, the province should it be completed. The department should submit a comprehensive report on emergency, 
and disaster or housing or settlements across the province. Expenditure on and around the implementation and consequence management around uh, Kuma hostels in your area of Matrosana. The department should submit a comprehensive report on allocation of 250 million that has been given to uh, Matrosana throughout the uh, uh, construction of the Matrosana uh, catalytic uh, project aligned to the municipal and departmental plan. Progress registered on all the catalytic projects in the province, that of Matrosana and uh, Rustenberg, the MEC has spoken to. Um, that the department submit a report on concluded investigations, reported incidents of corruption, irregular expenditure, or irregular appointments and litigations against the department. The portfolio committee com uh, will then, um, as and when, um, process issues uh, referred to the investigation of the Hawks and the SIU and the public protector and the AG findings on and around the um, scope of the department or construction around human settlement. On Northwest Housing Corp, the department submitted a comprehensive of the latest updated valuation role of the properties located in and, out, in and outside the province, including all infrastructure for the purpose of briefing with the department and the office of the premier, which the committee will schedule at a later stage. The Department of Human Settlement provide comprehensive report on support given to the entity in the yeah, revenue and management of properties in and outside the province. That the Department of um, Human Settlement must provide guidance to the entity with regard to the post-audit action plan, and this should not be limited to minor exceptions raised by the AG, but uh, encompass the complex and transition um, on discarded pro properties in and outside uh, the province. And uh, we welcome the already pronouncement made by the um, MEC in this regard. Uh, the Northwest Housing Corp must review it the strategy of property management and develop a profile uh, of tenants. Government officials uh, who are either forcefully or rightfully renting these properties must be forced to pay because they don't fall within the category of indigents and thus action must be taken where there's non-payment uh, towards this particular entity called the Northwest Housing Corp that the department must exercise its IGR forum to engage municipalities on and around management of properties that belongs to the Northwest Housing Corp and put measures in place to ensuring that government employees pay the rates and, and taxes. Um, the develop a turnaround plan in line with the mandate of the Northwest Housing Corp to manage and maximize rental stock and enhance revenue. Uh, um, and in this regard, Honorable Speaker, the Portfolio Committee having deliberated extensively on the issues of the Northwest um, Human Settlement Department and the Northwest uh, Housing Corp came to uh, a conclusion to support and adopt the budget of the uh, Human Settlement Department, which is uh, one billion. 999,243,000. Kya leboga Musa Khotla. Kya leboga ntla temotswana yo within your minutes. Thank you very much. Ngosi. Honorable Williams. We have 9 minutes plus plus 4. Um, Honorable Speaker, Ms. Susanna Danke, Deputy, Honorable Deputy Speaker, Melena Micha in absentia, Honorable Members of the Executive Council, Members of the Provincial Legislature, Mahosi Arona, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Mukruta uh, Mahawa, Cocta Re Maloui. 
e re ke go kgwe di khabang khone ke tlise letsogo la ditebogo ka appreciation from your department on the response to the plight of the Dialwe family who reside in Wood 4 in Zoying, where the family was re an old lady and, the, and his two children were residing in a mud house that when it rains, the house gets flooded and the portfolio committee visited the house. And uh, when we did a follow-up visit, we did find that the house has been built and the family has got a, an RTP house. A further submission is on the humble provision from Tatemi Lamu, who also resides in the same ward. Opila Mutenga Mabota Alimarar, a mud house as it's in Awile. Hore, the same extension of the intervention on the Dialo family may be extended to that. A family in Madibe Makabana of Musiele, where 37 people are living in one broken shack with no IDs to their name, which makes it very difficult for them to have those houses. Manzire Musiele, 40 years with seven children. Matlakala Musiele, 25 years with three children. Geroma Mang, 31 years with four children. Mbeli Musiele, 25 with four children. Mpo Musiele, with six children. The age is not. Uh, raised because she doesn't have the ID. It means the children also do not have IDs. Julia Musiele with 24, 24 years with six children. Uh, two of these four children are receiving grants. Pomolo is a male child of 22 who is a matriculant. The type of a house they are living in will really need an intervention. Honorable MEC, in, in 2018, the late MEC Kehakilo made a promise to make Otsedi in Tese Magdalene of 1918. At that time, she was 107 years, living in a shack uh, in Lukubu, what, eight. Uh, today, I think she's 111 years. She's still patiently waiting for government to do the intervention and provide that house. The MEC, uh, before his demise, he was trying very much to ensure that the grain is provided the house, and uh, that has not yet happened. I thought I must the house, the family of 11 people in Ratlo, and I said that would be an opportunity for me to throw these ones to the MEC. On the element of a blocked project, I want to bring to the MEC a plea for the resolve within the department and the policy on the villages like Madutle, Matlasi, Kunotswane, uh, Shupinstad, Freyede. There are, there's a lot of villages where houses have been approved in the past. And today the department has not implemented because there is a report that says the places are dolomatic. I want to bring to the MEC to say, when you look at Gauteng and you look at Rustenburg and you look at Lexop, those are mining areas which naturally they will be dolomite. Yet every other day there are RDP houses that are that have been built. So these villages and these communities also deserve some sort of a policy development or an intervention from government because houses have been approved and they are not built and the report you get is that um, the places are dolomatic. Um, I need to throw two or three areas as well. Little Lelen Chocho Emisi, Moba Dirim, Balefapa, Lidi Katlako Tzaboni, Mutsire Khanyo Nyama Khusi. Stwana Khasi, Tolo Kwibile Khasoro Khani. Khole Khanyi Ma Khusi, Arya Beelwang. Modi Community Sarona, Ufitele Khonna Lidi, Tlitli Botza Khore, Limi Roto Yama Thaku Kyone Beelwang. Kirile Stwana Khasoro Khani. Look into the interest of Ndate Rutwane on the mess that is created with regard to how you resolve on traditional leadership problems across the board. A case in point will be the point where I come from in Dinukana. Just two weeks ago, traditional affairs went to the village 
to try and put in somebody that is not legitimate, knowing that they are going to cause a community disruption there. So I want to plead on behalf of the community that I represent of the Northwest, that traditional leadership challenges must be addressed and addressed properly, but also look at the officials you use as a government to intervene on this because we will consistently have communities that are fighting, that are dissatisfied, that development is unable to get to it based on the interest of officials within the department because we cannot build, how to can blame both the Premier and the MEC, we will blame them as political heads, but at the center of it, the reports that you pronounce on are the reports that, that you are provided by, by these officials that are in the department. On sale of properties, uh, Honorable MEC, Housing Corp is not only subject to the shareholders' concurrence on the sale of these properties, but also to, they need to submit a complete data of what they want to sell. When we did an oversight as a portfolio committee, we went to as far as Bloemfontein and we found Tabancho San. It's not listed. Mabato Tabancho Mabana. It's part of the properties that belongs to the Northwest. The bill or the amount that the department is paying on rates and taxes on these cross-border properties, it's on the budgets of the department and these properties are not listed. You don't understand what is the interest of the housing corp on not listing all of this. And the alleged say of uh, Murula San and many others that are not mentioned to you, MEC, I would humbly ask that the department zero in on that and look at that because we do have a report, but we would want the department to also assist in ensuring that because that is the intention of um, uh, uh, the, 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 the cooperation with regard to provision of information as required by the portfolio committee. Honorable Speaker, this budget vote presented by the MEC of COCTA is aimed at improving corporate governance across all municipalities towards integrated development outcomes. It has also taken into account a dynamic partnership with traditional leadership to ensure service delivery and development. The National Development Plan makes it clear that meeting our developmental agenda requires functional municipalities and capable machinery at a local level that can create a safe, healthy, and economically sustainable areas where citizens and people can work, live, and socialize. The plan envisages that by 2030, we will have a developmental state that is accountable focused on citizens' priorities and capable of delivering high-quality services consistently and sustainably through cooperative governance and participatory democracy. The ANC mapped its vision for local government in its historic document, Ready to Govern, the policy guidelines for a democratic South Africa, which has the following four pillars. Strive for achievement of the rights of all South Africans as a whole, a political and economic self-determination in a united South Africa, overcome the legacy of inequality and injustice created by colonialism and apartheid, a swift, progressive, and principled way, develop a sustainable economy and sustain infrastructure that will progressively improve the quality of all South Africans and to encourage the flourishing of the feeling that South Africa belongs to all who live in it, to promote common loyalty to, pride in the country, and to create a universal sense of freedom and security within its borders. We welcome the work that the department, the work of the department in enhancing the administrative and financial capabilities of municipalities to deal with issues of non-compliance with municipal, municipal Finance Act that led to the loss and withholding of equitable shares and conditional grants such as MIG over the years. Honorable members, from the early years of our democracy, it was envisioned that newly formed municipalities supported by national and provincial government will play a catalytic role in driving social economic transformation at local level. It is indeed lamentable that the trajectory of municipal performance is rather unimpressive. Rather than moving communities forward, many of our municipalities have themselves regressed 
struggling to perform their basic function, unable, sometimes unwilling to bill for services and collect revenue. And it is on this basis that we note the effort the department in the efforts of the department in monitoring the implementation of credit and debt collection policies. We also welcome the support given to municipalities by department with compliance with Municipal Property Rates Act. This will go a long way in enhancing the revenue collection management of municipalities so that they can deliver quality services to our people. The State of Local Government report, amongst other matters, confirmed a correlation between failure in government and political oversight as the primary co causes underpinning the increase in the number of dysfunctional municipalities. To overcome this anomaly, we urge the department to continue supporting monitor and monitoring the municipalities to submit audit reports and remedial plans in line with the applicable provision of the Municipal Finance Act through Municipal Public Accounts Committee and audit committees. It is our submitted view as the ANC that this support to municipalities will go a long way in enhancing sound administration and endangering, engendering good governance. The African National Congress, together with civil society and other stakeholders, crafted the NDP that makes an explicit call for better interface between political leaders and administration to speed up service delivery as well as stop corruption. It is on this score that we welcome the monitoring of implementation of the anti-corruption measure by municipalities, including council adoption of anti-corruption strategy, policy, standard operating procedure, and compliance with prevention of corrupt activities act breaker, as well as related investigation. We also welcome the support given to district municipality by the department in a bid to reduce unauthorized, irregular, wasteful, and fruitless expenditure. Consequence management must follow criminal prosecution instituted and money recouped if we are to deal decisively with corruption, Honorable MEC, and it syndicates that are involved in siphoning resources from our municipalities. The National Development Plan poses that South Africa's intergovernmental system of spatial planning has been slow to develop and coordination has been poor, pointing to ever-present legacies of apartheid planning which must be corrected. The ANC-led government is in furtherance of this initiative to eradicate apartheid spatial planning by introducing Spatial Planning and Land Use Management Act of 2013 SPLUMA. This piece of legislation had an ultimate goal of bringing about legislative policy framework that enables government, especially at a local government sector, to formulate policies that plans strategies, policies that formulate policies, plans and strategies for land use and land development that addresses, confront and resolve the special economic and environmental challenges facing South Africa. On this basis that we note, it is on this basis that we note the effort of the department in supporting the 14 municipalities with implementation of special planning and land use Management Act Spluma by gazetting bylaws and appoint municipal planning tribunal and gazette the names. The job creating measures introduced by ANC led government to extricate our people from grinding poverty remains key developmental agenda to provide work policies and communities in relation to local government services and function. It is on this score that we welcome the targeted to 21,200 job opportunities through Community Works Program, CWP. We to also upload the assistance. Member. Wrap up. Yo. Okay. <laughs> we also up, upload the assistance and support for municipalities to develop legally compliant IDPs. These programs should be focused on the promotion of holistic integrated development planning of the benefit. 
monitoring of the municipalities on the implementation of infrastructure programs and projects to ensure provisions and access to basic services include facilitation as well as participation in the district's provincial service delivery IGR forums will assist in accelerating service delivery. Notable progress have been made by the department in monitoring the implementation of the national grant fu funded project in the impact and the impact on the service of on the delivery of service to communities. We have also noted the support given to municipalities on the implementation of the fire brigade service, including developing. The NC remains concerned with non-issuing of title deeds, with, which resulted in poor expenditure in the title deed program in the previous financial year, despite there being a huge backlog in the issuing of these title deeds. Honorable Speaker, it is enshrined in the People's Guiding Compass, the Freedom Charter, that there shall be housing security and comfort for all. It is instructive that all people shall have the right to live where they choose to be, to be decently housed and to bring up families in comfort and security. Slums shall be demolished and new suburbs built where all have the transport, roads, lighting, playing fields, crutch, and centers. Yep. In conclusion, Honorable Speaker, I'm under pressure. I echo the words of the world-renowned icon, legend, and liberation stalwart, former state and ANC President Mandela, in closing remarks at the United Nations Habitat Second African Housing Minister's Conference at the World Trade Center in 1996 when he said, I quote, the greatest single resource we have in resolving the challenges of poverty in, in the, in, is the energy and creativity of the homeless themselves. It is an energy that can be mobilized in an effective partnership that help communities to help themselves. The NC-led government remains committed to accelerate the delivery of housing within the context of sustainable human settlements. Let's close the gap between the rich and the poor and make sure that the people our people also enjoy the kind of decent life that everybody else around this province enjoy. We support and move for the adoption of the budget vote of the Department of Cooperative Government, Traditional Affairs and Human Settlement 2023-24 in order to accelerate service delivery and advance our people's interest. I thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Williams. Honorable Bokhatsu. You have your 11 minutes plus four, which is 15 in total. <clears throat> Honorable Speaker of the Northwest Provincial Legislature, battalions of the EFF led by Commissar Sheikh Boudoui in his absence, members of the Provincial Legislature, the Kosi led by Kosi Maudwe, the community of Northwest in its entirety, receive our heartfelt revolutionary greetings as we wrap up Africa Month. Honorable Speaker, we are once again gathered in this prestigious house on behalf of the people of Bukonubu Pirima to debate the budgets of government department as presented by the 23-24 financial year. Honorable Speaker, these budgets are supposed to bear hope to the people of Northwest, by the reality of the matter is that certain trustees of these departments have reduced this moment to an opportunity to blatantly lie to the province on how they intend to spend their budget while actually planning to enrich themselves and their close allies. We see this annually from this consistently poor performing government, yet we are accused by the very same people of grandstanding and simply making noise when pointing out as was, as, as, on pointing out as was the case with some MEC last week when they were trying to impress their minions in the gallery. However, as the EFF in Northwest, we will never be bullied into turning a blind eye on their shenanigans. This is why, Honorable Speaker, we stand confidently before this August House today. 
this time to debate the annual performance plan of the departments that are led by the recycled failed project of the Allied. We are debating a department that is led by a man who was central at the squandering of 3.5 billion with a failed housing project just a stone throw away from where we are, as, as confirmed by Honorable Tswaile in Matosani just the other day. And I'm saying this without fear of victimization. Honorable Speaker, the Department of Corporate Governance, Human Settlement and Traditional Affairs is a key role player in the improvement of our people's lives, as it is entrusted with overseeing all 22 municipalities of the province and equally ensuring that our people receive dignified housing and sanitation, which is currently not the case. This department has also been bestowed with the authority to empower our customs and traditional leaders, yet continues to undermine them and just, and just stamp all over them without any regard for their authority or significance. This department has failed at every single one of its mandates under the leadership of Mr. Maloy's predecessor. And even now, the situation remains the same without any hope of change. The Honorable Speaker, Coxta in the Northwest is a conglomerate of mafias. Yes, this is the worst department when it comes to compliance with legislations and other statutes. The deliberate non-compliance of legislation is in play to collapse systems of accountability so that the mafias must continue to milk the government purse through corrupt activities without trace. Honorable Speaker, the Auditor General's report has illustrated to us time without number that there is no functional municipality in the Northwest. The people of Ditsobotla and Zwayin local municipalities still wake up to the reality of kids having to jump over running sewage when going to school. Almost six months after the election of the new council in Ditsobotla, assets are being auctioned and workers are not paid. Yet Mr. Maloy continues to unprocedurally second municipal managers to that municipality without, because greed has taken over his consciousness. Ratlow local municipality is in shambles. People continue to waste our people's money on foolish and stupid court battles while our people receive no services. The people of JB Max are still drinking contaminated water and no actions has been taken against anyone. The workers of Likwata Mani also have no life with their fingers, have to live with their fingers crossed and the municipality is as the municipality is at the point of financial collapse. The municipal bank accounts in Matlosana and Madiben local municipalities have been attached by ESCOM because generally there is no leadership in the department. Honorable Speaker, for us to support the budget vote will be a spit in the face of our pure masses. Northwest has a general crisis of water and sanitation Yet its budget allocation has been cut down after a majority of the municipalities underspent their budget last year. The taps are dry across the province and our people have to tra travel long distances with wheelbarrows for them to get at least one or two 20 liters of contaminated water that they survive on. What a shame. Honorable Speaker, the less spoken about the Northwest Housing Corp, the better. That entity has been turned into a cash cow for the political connected and continued to collapse all the infrastructure that was inherited from the former Buputatwana government. Properties like Murula San and many others are sold to friends. In our, our people are currently forced to stay in order. Oh, must I proceed? proceed? Okay. Our people are currently forced to stay in incomplete RDP houses that were built more than 10 years ago. And it's normal in the name of block projects. The people of Masutle and Fendersdorp are still waiting for their RDP houses that were approved many moons ago. 
The people of Taum find themselves in cracked RDP houses, even though the houses are newly built. It is even worse with the people of Djelpan, who are still living on streets, because this same department has failed in addressing their disaster, disaster even, through, even though there was a budget allocated for it. Human settlement has been given city of Matrosana housing allocation money for a project registered as a national project. Honorable speaker, human settlement has pumped 12 million to, reloc to relocate residents of Kuma Hostel and nothing was done but to put them in deserted, deserted uh, dumping site, a land without water and toilets. Thereafter, they put another 11 million, hiring one of their friends, Mestan Depa, to build slab houses which to date, two years down the line, has not been completed. The situation is worse. Worse, the land that these slabs are, are built on belongs to the same contractor. This is the same person who, who was given RDP houses in Kanana and other areas in the province. And they and, and to date, they still stand incomplete, all of them. In, in addition, there's 5.8 million of planning that went missing. So Kuma Hostel relocation and many other projects are just a fundraising project for crime rates and ANC election campaigns while those communities are living without water and sanitation. They relieve themselves in bushes. Hence the alarming actions of protest in the province, even here in the gates of legislature. Honorable Speaker, our people are suffering and are left to fend for themselves because of the general collapse of the Department of Cox. We call for the formalization of informal settlements around the province uh, informal settlements like Kizo Izo and Ryutwile in Rustenburg for them to be able to access a uh, service delivery. Honorable Speaker, the limited budget for traditional leaders and lack of budget for initiation schools and clear sign that the government of the day does not have the interests of traditional authorities and customs at heart. The government of the ANC have ensured that there is general instability in most of the traditional houses across the province. Bakhatla Bakhafela and Babu Bamukhal are just the immediate example of the unwillingness of government to stabilize traditional houses. Remaloi, Wenale Boremabi, Khalid Khompidi Khosaru, Labatontrola, Ibilele Basakhizakabato. We have hope now that Kosima Oto will take you to task in terms of delivering on your mandate and equally ensuring that all unstable traditional houses are stabilized and given the dignity they deserve. Honorable Speaker, we before 2024 elections, national elections, the EFF is literally and figuratively running circles around this useless government as has gotten away with, uh, that has gotten away with undermining our people for the longest of time. From our continued work on the ground, it is evident that the EFF is the only alternative for black people to, uh, to bring to fruition all we have guaranteed our people. It is, it, it is time for the dignity, it is time for hope and possibilities to be restored to our youth. It is time for the hands of the government of, uh, of it's, it's time for the hands of all its recycled leaders to be removed from the coffers of our people. Honorable member, please hold on. There's a hand. Honorable Chapi. Kalewoha, Madam Speaker, negire kya motor khaba toro bala biki nyana saroka utoro modi toro. Proceed, honorable member. This empty performance plans. These empty performance plans and their smokescreen budget will soon come to an end. I'm not dreaming. It is only a matter of time, black child, in rural Bukoni Bupirima, Oskewa Tobor. In case we were not clear, Honorable Speaker, 
As the EFF, we reject the nonsensical budget. I thank you.